In this uh, question, we are asked to calculate an equilibrium constant for the reaction A to B, A plus B. So we have A plus B in a reversible reaction C plus D. And uh, we know that our, that uh, at, uh, we are looking at standard conditions, delta G naught, and in this case we've got a prime here which indicates that we are looking at a biological system, but that is uh, not really of uh, importance here. So we know that delta G equals 7.4 kilojoule per mole. We also know that delta G can be written as minus RT ln of the equilibrium constant. That is basically this thing is what we are looking for. So uh, what we need to do really is to uh, solve this equation and we know that minus rt uh, is negative 8.31 joule per mole and kelvin. And our temperature is 273 Kelvin plus 25 Kelvin. So this gives us 298 uh, Kelvin. And so our minus RT term uh, becomes uh, 2.48 kilojoule per mole. So we have and our uh, equation here, we have 7.4 kilojoule per mole equals, and that's a negative here, negative 2.48 kilojoule per mole times ln of our rate, uh, of our um, equilibrium constant. Uh, so LnK equals 7.4 kilojoule per mole divided by negative 2.48 kilojoule per mole. And we see that the units nicely cancel out. And when we uh, plug that into a calculator, we get negative 2.98. So Ln k equals negative 2.98 and in order to get our equilibrium constant we just simply e both sides so we get our equilibrium constant equals e to the power of minus 2.98 and that is roughly 0.05 Five. So that's our equilibrium constant for the reaction A plus B, reversible reaction C plus D, and uh, the equilibrium constant K would be defined as the concentration of C times D divided by the concentrations of A times the concentration of B, and this is 0 0.05. So we can basically say that in the equilibrium we have far more of uh, the reactants compared to the uh, concentrations of the products. So this is basically how you can calculate the equilibrium constant from the standard free energy. I hope this makes